Well, you may notice an increase in the number of superheroes roaming the Salt Lake Valley. That's because the Slam Dance Film Festival is featuring a documentary, Superheroes, that shows the lives of real-life crime fighters. Dan has found a couple of them this morning. He's hanging out with them now, although I'm not sure. I don't see a cape, no mask. Are these really the superheroes, Dan? I took my cape off for this. <laughs> I didn't want to intimidate. All right. So, yeah, we've got Michael Barnett, the filmmaker here, and we've got Zimmer, a superhero, real-life superhero. And we're going to talk to you in just a second. You're staring me down right now. It's kind of Sorry. freaking me out. Don't hurt me. Okay. But uh, we want to talk. It's okay, Zimmer. We want to talk about superheroes, though. I mean, how do you find these guys? Um, well, we sort of, uh, my producer and I stumbled across this community online. And mm -hmm. we reached out. And there's a, uh, a high level of mistrust. <clears throat> so uh, we finally found one guy to agree, Mr. Extreme, uh -huh. down in San Diego. We went down and shot him. And that's what he calls himself, Mr. Extreme. It's what he calls himself, Mr. Uh -huh. Extreme. We actually don't know his real name. We've been shooting him for a year. Uh -huh. And uh, Who's this <clears throat> right here? This is, this is his team. This is the New York Initiative. Okay. That's Lucid. And uh, the rest of his team is Z and Saf, and that's Mr. Extreme. Oh, so he does wear a cape. Yes, he does. Yes. Mr. Extreme wears a cape. Indeed. Huh. So, very, it, so, so tell me a little bit about, Zimmer, when we talk about superheroes, what are we talking about here? I mean, do you have superpowers? No, we're talking about just ordinary people that see things that are wrong with their local community and do their best to find a creative way to solve those problems. So what do you do as a superhero? Uh, for me, I'm a member of the New York Initiative in Brooklyn. We uh -huh. focus on violent crime because that's an issue in Brooklyn. Um, but like I said, it's different for uh, every superhero in every part of the country. So on any given day, I mean, there are no telephone booths anymore. So it's really hard to run into those and change. What do you do when somebody calls out something and they need a superhero? Uh, the New York Initiative actually doesn't wear any kind of costumes or masks on patrol. Um, like I said, it's, it varies. So who are these people with the masks? They look scarier than the crooks that you might be trying to fight. That's Santos. He does a really uh, a lot of great work with the homeless. He's yeah. literally saved lives. Yeah. He's a 62-year-old man who, uh, who reaches out to uh, <clears throat> homeless people and brings them care packages in uh, Vancouver. Huh. He's amazing. So, so, so how do police tell the difference between the people out there? You said that you go out there and you try to help uh, stop muggers, rapists, that kind of thing. I mean, how do you... How do people, police, identify who you are? I mean, do you, like, wear the S on your chest or something like that, superhero stuff? Uh, when I was out in the field, I wore a uh, binary code. Um, I don't wear a mask. Um, I carry mm -hmm. I ID. Uh, it's not too difficult for the police to tell me apart from anybody else. So they know who you are? Yes. How many superheroes are there? Uh, at this point in time, we have found hundreds. Uh, we shot 40-something for the film. But, um, yeah, there's hundreds, and it's growing every day, every major city in America. It's actually worldwide. Were any of them hesitant to do the movie? Uh, almost all of them, actually. Why? Well, <clears throat> I guess you'd have to ask him. When we met him, we met him in a coffee shop. We talked to him for about an hour. We told him our intentions. He disappeared to say he was going to go get the rest of his team, uh -huh. and he never came back. So we sat there for about an hour wondering where he went. And uh, after about an hour, the other table turned to us, uh, after eavesdropping, and finally said, um, we're the rest of the team. I was going to say, did you feel like somebody was watching you the whole time? <laughs> after that? We, we, I think we had a, a slight sense, but he was just gone for so long, yeah. so we were like, uh, you know, another person who just bailed on us. Could have been your spider sense. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Yeah. Are they all kind of stoic, like Zimmer? Uh, no. Uh, some are everybody pretty... Everybody different? Everybody is different. Yeah. It's hard to generalize. Yeah, they, uh, everyone's got a, a, a different thing that they do. Everyone sort of focuses, like, their sort of violent crime. Mm-hmm. Uh, oriented, uh, Mr. Extreme's all about child abductors and pedophiles and bringing awareness to any open cases. Um, a lot of people do community outreach. Uh, every, yeah, it depends. So, there, so the attempt is to do good work and, and keep the community safe. So, so where, where can people see this movie? Uh, right now it's uh, Wednesday night mm -hmm. at the Treasure Mountain Inn, 830 at Slam Dance, and we just finished the film five, six days ago. Wow. And uh, we've already gotten a couple offers. Good for you. So That's cool. uh, we'll see the balls in our court. We'll, see well it definitely generates interest. That's why we brought you guys in here. Yeah. We're like superheroes, huh? I don't want to get on Zimmer's bad side. Yeah. I do not. All right. He'll well, mess you up. Taekwondo thanks a lot, guys. <laughs> I know. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Thanks.